hey guys welcome back to the channel new video here i don't know when it's gonna be uploaded um it's saturday uh like first week in january and got a new vehicle here it's actually my brother's not a new vehicle but new to us obviously and yeah these videos aren't gonna be uploaded until it's all fixed and done but what is a 2009 audi a4 quattro uh s-line package and it's a little rough so it's wrapped um i believe it is supposed to be black underneath open the door here yep it's black black interior seems pretty decent we got it for fifteen hundred fifteen hundred dollars it needs a clutch it needs well the sunroof doesn't quite shut i'm not really sure why i don't think it's going to take a whole lot but then it is also you can kind of see the roof has been a little scraped a little bit of dent over there i'm not sure what what it hit not sure what happened something's probably just you know a little bent but yeah it's got some old mercedes wheels on there wheels are definitely be changed up unless it takes too much to fix this car then we'll end up probably pulling off also it's got and i don't think we'll be able to open the trunk because it's the battery's uh dead right now but it has a uh, airlift performance air system on it it's got just a couple issues a couple of air leaks otherwise i think it works pretty decent um yeah it's kind of like a matte black wrap um most of the places it's not too bad honestly but it's gonna have to be changed out also right here if i open the trunk you can kind of see it too something got run into here so not sure what happened there shuts a little hard just a little bit um fender looks a little rough let's see if i can pop the hood show under the hood it's got a terrible misfire right now as well interior i mean it's a little bit of trash in it most stuff we'll need to take care of needs to be cleaned out a bit um honestly not too bad though as soon as it gets cleaned and yeah the hood the struts don't work right now so you have to hold the whole thing up and it's pretty heavy so it does have and i still don't know what all i'm looking at here but it's got a upgraded intercooler uh ecs tuning intake i think it was supposed to have some sort of tune on it i'm not real sure um coils i mean it's got a terrible misfire and i unplugged them one or two of them or actually I was unplugging them and they kind of like it was obviously coils and plugs or or just replace them but they've there's some big issues with them um also he had resealed I guess it's what the valve cover here and there's just like a ton of sealant around it so I feel like I need to pull that off and take care of that really you see what I'm looking at oh yeah Alternator, alternator looks like there's an issue just saw that now just don't know if you guys can see that but there's some something's going on with the plug there so yeah also i'm not really sure i think it's got uh it's got to be an aftermarket exhaust it's a fairly big pipe i'm not sure it's kind of loud too so i don't know what all i'm looking at but a little bit of oil honestly not too bad though and then here, if you look inside the headlights, I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Daddy on there. You guys can see it there. <laughs> or maybe here. I don't know. The headlights also don't really seem to work just real good. So, if you look underneath, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, there's just there's some stuff that's gonna need to be taken care of. And then the trunk, I'll see if I can get the open the trunk and see if I can get the battery charged up a little bit and then show you guys what's in the trunk all right guys so finally got the trunk open and this is what we're looking at here so wrong battery and we have new battery for it um one that actually works and then you've got the airlift system airlift uh, performance system here but they're a good brand but I put in here did a pretty bad job so I mean you can see they screw down to wood and then use wood screws down through metal not the first time I've seen something like this 
It's kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Um, and I mean, the wiring is just a mess. I mean, you can see some stuff coming up to the battery. Two splices in there that I seriously doubt are, well, I mean, they kind of look like they're working. Not sure where that wire goes to. It works, and it comes on as soon as you give it power. Um, I just gave it power just enough to open the trunk and disconnected it. So, yeah, not really sure what all's going on here. New to this stuff, I've never had a vehicle with uh, airlift stuff before. Also, not really sure what's going on in here. I don't know if that's OEM. Okay, it does say Audi, so it probably is. But, some wires going through there. And then, yeah, just a little more chunk in the trunk. But, yeah, kind of almost has a little bit of a new car smell. But, it's got 132,000 miles. And, yeah, I guess we'll have to just, first thing we're going to do is just clean it. Clean it. Probably give it a wash the whole thing real good. And, yeah, I think we're probably going to pull off the wrap. I think that's one of the first things, because... One of the things you need to know what the paint looks like underneath before we actually try to start fixing anything. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a dent here. So that's a little bit destroyed there. But if the paint, I mean, obviously there's going to be issues here. And I actually, I don't think that, I don't think there's actually wrap on the roof anymore. I feel like this wrap's been on here for a while. I don't know if you guys can see that, but on the edge there. Looks like it might actually take quite a bit to get this stuff off. But it is what it is. Um, worst case scenario, we're just going to part you know, stuff out. Like the airlift performance system. Um, I think everything is good. It's just on the wiring and stuff in the trunk looks a little bad. Bumper. Yeah, not sure what's going on there. We'll have to pull some stuff off the front, front end. So, yeah. I guess uh, first thing we'll... Good wash, detail, detail it, vacuum that thing out, and then I guess we'll just go from there. All right, guys, it's the next day here. Hopefully, uh, the wind isn't too big of an issue. Um, we got the car washed. It's all actually still kind of dirty. Um, but the car did kind of get washed. It's all right for now. Um, it's just the wrap, and the wrap's probably going to come off. But inside, it's looking a lot better now. Um, we actually got it washed. or actually got it all cleaned, vacuumed out, so it's a good place to start. So next thing, I think... We're going to actually get the right battery back in the trunk and get that hooked up. Bring out the scan tool. Um, I guess that's a good place to start. See what all is going on with this thing. Maybe even start it just to get an audio clip for you guys just so you know what it kind of sounds like. It sounds terrible. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we have the battery, the right battery in here now. Um, the other one was had the terminals up front here and it switched around so wow is like pretty much seems this positive here negative here instead of the opposite side of the battery um but that is connected the terminals kind of tightened down now we'll see if they'll start and also check codes and some other stuff all right so goes in there I don't know if the sunroof has a little issue, but I mean the clutch is out. The clutch does not work at all. Let's see if I can get a little sun clip for you guys though. It sounds terrible. like a leaf, so. 
have to switch it off. 